Doing the laundry was a whole day affair. The day started early as the first water drawn from the well had to be heated in a wood fire copper. Washing was a laborious task that required a strong backbone in the 1800s. The operation of the pump was manual, requiring women to physically operate the lever to draw the water out of the well. Many women had to manually carry buckets of water to and from the pump to have enough to wash the dirty laundry with. Women used a wooden brace known as a shoulder yoke to carry two buckets of water at a time. Women needed strong muscles to carry out this duty, as often the pump would not be in the closest of proximity to the laundry shed. Lottie is carrying 20 kilos plus across her shoulders, and this has to be done every week throughout the year, also known as Wash Day Monday. Lottie adds in more water from the wheel to the main metal washing tub in preparation for the washing of the various clothes and linen. A good laundry shed is well equipped with metal buckets, tubs, agitators, scrubbing boards, ringers, soap, baskets, irons and ironing boards. But before any washing can commence, Lottie has to sort the clothes and linen. Clothing has to be sorted by colour, by the amount of soiling and by size. You would never wash fine white lace and linen with soiled work clothing. Delicate materials were hand washed with great care, whereas heavy soiled materials needed a scrubbing board to dislodge the dirt embedded in the cloth. The original scrubbing boards were created out of fluted metal, but due to rust issues, they had a limited lifespan. The glass fluted scrubbing board soon became a favourite. The combination of friction against the fluted surface of the glass, soap, water and elbow grease produced pristine clean linen after the final rinse. The soap was homemade out of animal fat, usually from surrounding livestock. For the bigger, heavier material, another invention, the agitator was employed to manipulate the load in order to release the dirt and soap. After immersing the sheets, Lottie adds more hot water to accommodate the agitator. The movement of water and soap penetrates the fabric loosening the soil and dirt. This was an energy consuming exercise, making the life of a laundry maid uninviting. A welcome invention a little later was a washing tub with a built-in agitator, which was powered by mechanical gearing and levers and required a lot less effort from the laundry maid. In similarity to the scrubbing board process, a thorough rinse in clean water is applied to the wash load in preparation for the wringer. To hasten the drying of the clothes, especially in winter, the water had to be squeezed or wrung out of the clothes. A handy invention was the clothes wringer, consisting of two rollers, which were sprung tightly together with a handle to turn the rollers. By placing the clothing between the rollers and turning the handle, the water would be squeezed out. Lottie had to be very careful not to catch her fingers in the wringer. Once all the clothes had been wrung and placed into a clean wicker basket, the maid would collect her wooden clothes pegs and head to the portable clothes line outside. Lottie spreads the linen out evenly across the clothes line to allow airflow to dry the material quickly. The initial clothes pegs available at the time were called dolly pegs because of their shape resembling small figures. In fact, mothers at the time would dress these pegs in scraps of fabric to resemble small dolls. This style of pegs were replaced with a spring-loaded version due to the dolly pegs splitting under stress. Once the washing had dried, Lottie had yet another job to do. After unpegging and bringing in the washing, it was time to iron out the creases with a flat iron. Lottie would heat the iron using hot coals from the wood fire copper. She would usually have several irons on the go at once, so that as one cooled down, another would be ready to go. Other irons in use at the time were coal-filled irons, spirit irons, which had a tendency to explode, and steam irons. As Lottie finishes ironing the different linen, she folds items ready to store. A good day's work done.